things I did that. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Outre 5x5 Lace Closure Wig. This one is in the Body Curl 24 inches and I'm installing it in the color D4, DR Chocolate Swirl. I don't know where I got the number four from. Anywho, we have unpacked the wig. I'm putting it on my mannequin head because I wanted to see if I needed to do any customization to that hairline. And I did do a little bit of plucking. Now, it does come pre-plucked. You can't deny that, but I wanted to pluck it a little bit more um, just to make it a little bit more natural looking. So, y'all can see how I parted the front of it and then I'm just going to pluck behind what I just parted out. Yeah, that makes sense. I had to make sure what I just said made sense. <laughs> so I'm going to pluck it out side by side, show y'all a comparison, the before and after. You can see how it's a lot more thinned out now versus being really full. I thought it came out really good. I thought it plucked really easily. Um, you can see how much more space is there. It looks really good compared to the before but you can definitely leave it how it was it's up to you but this is more my speed so now we're going to get the wig installed i am using the method where you put the little elastic band on first and pull it over um very good sizing i really like how this wig fit it wasn't too big or too small of course y'all know i'm gonna stick with my middle parts because she's that girl i love a good middle part I'm going in with my hot comb, making sure that the roots are flat so I can see what I'm working with. You can see that this parting space goes back a lot further than what I had did in the beginning. It is a 5x5, five five, so it goes back 5 inches. And I went ahead and I used all of that space. I'm making sure that my parting space is pretty straight. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit crooked, but we're going to get it as straight as I can. Yes, I know you can see my wig cap, but I'm going to add some concealer like I'm doing now you can see how it blends right on into the cap that you were seeing and that just disappears and all that then I'm gonna go in with my razor and make sure I cut off the excess lace make sure we get all of it cut off I go real real close to the hairline After the lace is cut off I move on to baby hairs yes Kaya doing baby hairs can we believe that because I don't but I'm gonna tell you something came out real cute i might be jumping on the baby hair train i don't want to claim that just yet i might but i can't say for sure but it came out good then i'm gonna go with my ebon spray you can shop on ebon's website use my coupon code kl glamour and save some money on your purchase i'm using the black can this is like the extra mega firm hold <laughs> and then I'm just going to top that off with my melt band and then we're going to go on and work with the hair I want to make sure I brush out the curls so it isn't real tight like how it comes out of the packaging I wanted it to be loose curls just like that body wave curl and just make sure that it's giving not so perfectly curled and tight if that makes sense it looks like I'm being real rough also but I promise I'm not I'm making sure that once I get to the roots I make sure I get the roots nice and brushed out so that way we're not pulling and tugging and making some of the hair come out of the wig using my wig brush to make sure we get that all nice and detangled and then we take that melt band off and y'all do we see the melt do we see the melt good god i really love how this came out and now i'm gonna use my hot comb again i'm just making sure i push some of that hair back and out of my face it kind of just gives the hair a little bit of style gives it more volume that way and it stays that way surprisingly then i'm touching up my parting space making sure that the concealer is there hiding my wig cap and that was pretty much that do a little touch up here and there with some makeup this step you don't have to do i'm doing it just because i'm extra but it kind of just makes you look like you have a little bit more scalp showing if that makes sense so that's why i do that but you don't have to but i like how this install came out you guys gotta let me know what you think about it 
I'm putting my last few minute touches on there, making sure all flyaways are gone, making sure the hair is sitting, how I would like for it to sit. So far, I've tried three of the wigs from this line from Outre, and this has got to be my favorite one so far. Um, you can look at my TikTok for the other ones that I've tried. I didn't post them on YouTube, but I did post this one, and I'm glad I saved this one for YouTube because this just looks so good. Like, I need a, a backup. I need this one in 1B or 2. But the chocolate hair is giving. I don't know. Me and chocolate hair go together real bad. I really love how chocolate hair looks on me. So, anywho, 10 out of 10 wig over here. Utre, you did your, you did your big one with this one. I like this one a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.